that? Hey, yo, what to do, YouTube? It's your boy, Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and what I've got for you today is some more NBA 2K24 Next Gen. Now, as you can tell by the title, thumbnail, that what's on the screen for you today, the build that we happen to have happens to be the best Jordan Poole build in the game, and in my personal opinion, one of the rarest builds in this game. Now, as most of you know, Jordan Poole recently joined the... Ah! I, I, shit, hold on. Wait a minute. I gotta find out the jersey number. <clears throat> it's now 13. Sweet. Okay, back to the video we go. Jordan Poole recently joined the Washington Wizards and is, of course, the starting shooting guard. And ladies and gentlemen, last night he balled out against the Knicks. And because of that, we have to make a JP build. So let's get straight into it. Now, he is right-handed. Jersey number 13, formerly jersey number 3, whilst playing for the Golden State Warriors. He is the starting shooting guard coming in at approximately 6 foot four without shoes and six foot six with shoes and then apparently weighing 194 pounds whilst having a six foot seven wingspan now before we get into the skill breakdown for this build as per usual you know what i gotta say if you enjoyed today's video hit that like button don't forget to share the video because it helps with the youtube algorithm and paying for these videos drop a comment down below telling me any other builds you want to see and of course hit that subscribe button and turn post notice on now as for the comment Take a quick guess at what you think the build name's gonna be before we get to the end of the video. Because I am tempted to say what it is, but I'm gonna let you guys guess it before we get to the end. And hopefully, let me know whether you're correct in the comments after you guess. Or at least I'll judge you like a teacher marking tests because I'll see your guesses. Now, as per usual, stamina-wise, we go with a 99 when it comes to guards. Because guards happen to be the people that handle the ball the most and do a lot of running. Speed-wise, went with an 86 because we do want to get that gold blow-by combo up with hyperdrive and speed booster. And then, of course, acceleration, got to get that to an 83 as well in order to get that hyperdrive at at least gold. Now, to round out the physicals, we decided to put the strength up to a 63, only because it means that we get silver physical handles, which is kind of clutch, especially as a guard. And then vertical-wise, we decided to leave it at a 56 because, again, JP is not one of the dudes that's out here just banging it on everybody. I do know he has a few posters throughout his career, but not enough where we can say he's one of the elite high flyers. But just as we can't say that, we can say he has a knack for finishing around the cup, which is why we managed to give him... Actually, I think he's the first player outside of SGA. So actually, so yeah, he is the second player on this channel that we're giving this high of a driving layup at a 91. Because, yeah, when he gets to the hoop, that boy is a slithery finisher. So we got to give him that Hall of Fame Giant Slayer slash Acrobat combo, as well as Gold Slithery. And then from the play style, you got to give him that Hall of Fame Float game, as well as Scooper. Because, yeah, he has a knack for finishing at the hoop, which is kind of incredible. When it comes to the rest of the finishing, we left it untouched. We originally did put a little bit of driving dunk on this build, but it took a lot away from what else we could do. Because, really and truly, we're making a JP current build. And at the current moment, he's not dunking it like that, but he is finishing with some nice ass lifts. So, when it came to shooting, as per usual, we went an 84 when it came to the mid-range jump shot because it meant we get gold mid magician. But the other key reason for this is because we took the three ball all the way to the max. Not all the way to the max. We took it all the way we could to a 94 because at a 95 we get Hall of Fame catch and shoot and green machine, which would be nice but not necessarily needed. However, we do need gold agent threes, which can only get at a 94 three, as well as gold blinders, dead eye, and of course, silver limitless range. Free throw wise, put this up to a 75 because as with any other build, he isn't great at shooting free throws and in this game, low key having a 75 free throw, you can average dang near 90% from the free throw line in any mode being pro am or rec. It's just how good of a free throw release you do have and how good you are with your timing. Then when it came to the playmaking, we decided to go with an 87 to start off with, with the pass accuracy because it does mean that we get the beautiful capability of getting bronze bailout as well as silver needle threader, relay passer, dimer as well as touch passer. And then a 93 when it comes to the ball handle. The main reason for this is you need a 92 in order to be able to get, of course, unplugged. Okay, let me round this up. 93 on the ball handle and then the speed of the ball went up to an 83 because then it helps with other badges. At a 93 ball handle, as you can see, at a 92 you get gold speed booster and gold blow buys. And then at a 93 you get gold killer combos as well as Hall of Fame ankle breaker. Now for anyone who's watched JP play, you know a big part of his game is his ability to break down defenders, especially in one-on-one -on -one situations. So badges such as blow by, killer combo, speed booster, and of course Hall of Fame ankle breaker play a key part. And then hyperdrive as well, because when he's running down the court, he does have a way of getting around as he wishes. Now defensively, again, this is a guy just like his old backcourt partner when Clay was injured and Steph that they're not the greatest defenders and it's not a bad thing because they really do make up for it on the offensive end even though me personally speaking I like people who play both sides of the ball at an elite level so we gave him a 76 on the perimeter defense which of course does mean you get bronze at every single level 
of perimeter defense in clamps, 94 feet ankle braces, challenger, fast feet, pick dodger, workhorse, and then of course silver off ball pest. And then when we came to the steal, we left this at a 36, whilst putting the defensive rebound up to a 43. Now that I do think about it, you could technically lower this down a little bit, and then you could tweak the rest of the badges. How not the badges, but the rest of the attributes, however you want. You could easily increase the close shot a little bit if you wanted to. Or if you're me, you could easily go down there and increase the strength a little bit more to see what you can get, get, kind of get away with. Because at this point, yeah, actually, you know, we'll increase the strength because as you can see, that does now allow us to finish with gold fearless finisher. And then increase the free throw up to about an 81 because, yeah, I'm not going to put it anywhere else. Now, as you can see, these are some of the badges that the build manages to get. As you can see, playmaking, not playmaking, finishing wise, it does manage to get spin cycle and two step, which is kind of confusing to me because actually this is for layoffs and for dunks but the good thing here is it gets hall of fame amongst majority of the finishing badges outside of fearless finisher slithery and bunny when it comes to finishing out the cup with layups shooting wise gold midi magician is nice enough but the greatest pair up here is gold agent threes blinders dead eye paired up with of course hall of fame space creator claymore corner specialist and open looks open looks happens to be one of those badges that trust me it really kicks in especially as the badge says it improves the player's ability to make wide open jump shots and then playmaking wise, we do get some decent passing at an 87, but the key thing here is at a 93 ball handle, we get a lot of our ball handling badges at gold at the very least. Obviously physical handles is at a silver, but that's not a necessity. And then of course we get gold when it comes to things that play a part with speed with balls such as blow by, hyperdrive, speed booster, and of course triple strike. We don't get big driver because of our little, little weight and strength as well as height. And then of course on the perimeter defense side of things, we are capable of locking up as much as we can. Now. If you manage to make your guess on what you think the build can be, let me show you what the actual name of the build happens to be. In the shades of, we get a legend for the Sixers, we get, of course, Tyrese Maxey, and then I believe we also get Tyler Hero. It happens to say that the name of the build is none other than a offense heavy two guard. Now, let me know how many of those you've seen in the park, or generally how many of those you've seen people make with builders, because personally, I haven't seen it yet, but maybe that's because I'm not searching enough. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, which if you did, don't forget to do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notice on. And lastly, but not least, drop a comment telling me what you think about the build, what you change about it, and whether you think JP13, which is weird to say because I'm used to JP3, is going to have a great season with the Wizards this year, and any other videos you want to see, because low-key, as I said, we enjoy it. We might start live streaming some gameplay, reactions, watch-alongs, I don't know. But yeah, we're here to win, we're here to stay, let's get at it. It's been your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.